Okay, welcome to the first of uh, several tutorials that I've made for the Selwyn House Music Appreciation class. Um, the, these probably won't interest you if you're not in that class. They're going to be pretty basic, just getting us into uh, the things I want to teach the guys in Ableton Live uh, so that they can complete the first drum exercise project that we do together. Uh, so the first thing you need to do is go on your start menu and uh, look for Ableton Live. Uh, it's probably mine set up differently it's probably in a school menu somewhere um, you will see that you have a demo for version 6 uh, but before you join the class you were asked to go to the text and get the the, the, the full version installed uh, that we purchased for the school so um, you're gonna be launching that you're not launching the demo okay um, so I'm I'm showing you with version six because that's what I have installed. It's not a not a big deal. They're, they'll be similar enough for what we're doing. Um, so once we install, uh, or sorry, once we launch it, we want to to set it up so that we can use it. So um, the first thing you're going to notice is uh, over here you're going to have some kind of lessons thing. Now I don't have any of the lessons installed, so it looks like a big empty box. But yours will will look a little more fancy. Uh, give yourself some more room. You can close that if you ever want to get those back. Uh, you can go into the view menu uh, and find lessons right there and it'll it'll bring it back. Um, okay, so we have a ton of icons on the left hand side and we're going to be using them quite a bit to, uh, to do various uh, tasks. Um, the first thing we need to do is set up our folders here. Okay, we have three folders. Uh, they all look the same, um, and they should look something like this if, uh, unless you've gone in there and played already. Um, so you want to click on the very first one and click on the white bar and go to My Documents because I've given you a music appreciation folder in your My Documents folder. Okay, um, So double click on Music Appreciation, double click on the Sample Pack, Okay, and we're going to do that for all three areas. So My Documents music appreciation, sample pack, my documents, music appreciation, sample pack. Okay, so now all three of these look the same. This is just uh, three different folders that make it easier for us to jump around the computer and grab the files that we need. Um, for for our, our various tutorials, I've, I've given you some, some sounds to, to play with. Okay, so the, the very first folder we wanna select here, is audio loops okay the second one we'll set it to drums for impulse and later on in the term we're going to learn about simpler so we can select that for now uh, you can always switch uh, these if you want but um, just for the sake of, of making it easier then let's let's all stay here so if if you want you could open the little triangles but uh, uh, it's a lot. It's a lot more clean if you just click right into the folder that you want. And if you want to get back, then you can click on Parent Folder. Okay. So we've set that up on all three. Um, the last thing we want to do is check that we actually have audio coming out of uh, here. So if we click on an audio file, let's see. I'll go to video game loops. If I click on this Zelda one, I should hear it. And I, if I look at the very bottom, I can see the preview playing. Okay. If you're if you're not hearing anything, uh, then you may want to check that your volume's up because that's the <laughs> that's the number one reason why nobody hears anything. Um, if we want to make sure that there's actually audio coming out of here, we can grab that and drag it onto one of these audio clips. And if we hit play, okay, and we see um, some green uh, coming from our meters here, then that means sound is actually getting out of Ableton Live uh, and uh, it's probably a problem somewhere else. Um, the only reason why we might be getting uh, stuff on our meters there but not hearing it and it's Ableton's fault is because we need to go to preferences in the options menu and make sure that we have the right uh, audio device selected. Um, but uh, the, your, your best bet is to, to talk to uh, myself or Mr. Trudeau or anyone else in the tech office and, and sort of show them this and see if they can figure out, uh, like if it's set to no input, then that's pretty obvious. Just select one of the other drivers and see if that helps. Um, 
And if it gives you the option to, to put this to 41,000, uh, then you might want to try that too. And if, if it's still not working, then come, come see one of us. Okay, so, uh, so that should be the end of, of our first tutorial.